Exactly. The state helps in several different ways. For example, they keep order in towns like Oak Grove after a storm. That's why the highway patrol comes in. They also help in terms of trying to do property damage assessment, and they also coordinate activities like this. This is the Western Missouri Baptist Volunteer Disaster Relief folks that are in Oak Grove. You guys anything over here? Are you in the A side? The man in the red t-shirt is from Taking It to the Streets. They're from Greenwood, Missouri, and they've been here since Monday night, offering drinks, candy, and comfort food. We've always thought that our food's a tool to be able to speak hope and encouragement into people's lives, and that's what we do. They're from all churches and our school, and I don't know where else. Down the street, the Oak Grove Church of Christ is offering victims the tools they need to clean up and rebuild. Inside, boxes of food that arrived this morning, and the church is opening a pantry, offering that food and cleaning supplies and even sheets and pillows. We hope we have enough for as many people as we can take, but we have enough at least for 300 families. Groups like this, not the government, that step up in disasters to help the victims. Now, the state coordinates some of this. They also prepare damage assessment reports if they plan on asking the feds for help, but the state does not provide victims money. The wheels of government to move, they move so slow, whereas we can be here within, you know, minutes to an hour. And in the instance of taking to the street, they're based in Greenwood, Missouri, which is not that far from here. So they were on the scene probably within 60 minutes after this storm hit on Monday night, as it is volunteers groups like the ones you see right behind me now that are here stepping up and helping out in Oak Grove. Stephen?